Hello everybody, and welcome to a picture-in-picture -picture video update concerning my Skyrim Let's Play. As you can see, we have Elia standing right here, but not the Elia as you know her, because those of you who've been keeping up with my Skyrim Let's Play and who watched my last update video about it will know this, but I've been having some problems with Skyrim problems in the constant crashing and scripting error sense of things, I mean. So, after trying numerous things, including removing mods, and doing a complete reinstallation of Skyrim and putting the same mods in place again and trying loading that save game, none of which were successful, I decided to go out on a limb and try something that I considered a bit of a last resort because it essentially means my inventory is wildly different now. What I have done here is I restarted Skyrim and made a new save game, recreating Elia from scratch. I've done my best to make sure she looks the same. There are probably a few differences. I think I've gotten the hair right, but I'm going to have to go over my old footage to check what color her eyes were again. Because that somehow looks wrong. But, in any case, since we were so early on in the game, I was easily able to make it so that Elia uh, was basically the same. I mean, her inventory is a little different. We'll have some different items in the inventory. I have a steel hunting knife now, which we didn't have before. As of yet, I do not have a crossbow, or crossbow bolts, which I had by then, and the other main difference is that when I was in the iron mine just outside of Riverwood, which is the quest, which is the only thing I did prior to starting the Let's Play. I did actually pick up an orcish longbow this time, which I did not do prior to this. In the actual playthrough you'll have been watching before this, so this is a different save and everything's new. I will be covering this in a prelude video I'm going to be doing for the next episode of the Let's Play, but I felt like I should cover it in the update video here so people were made aware. But as you can see, we have some different items than what we had before, and I have completely redone my mod setup. It's vastly different, and there's a number fewer mods. I've dropped the number of mods from nearly 170 down to about 148, and my, well, th that's not my mods, that's my plugins, let's get this right. I've dropped down to about 148 or so plugins, and it seems to be working out relatively well so far. I've mm, playtested for about two hours so far, and I've only had a single crash to desktop. So I'm hoping this means it's working okay. I'm going to do a bit more playtesting before I resume the Let's Play, but that's the feeling I get right now. Uh, yeah, as I said, different inventory setup, and chances are our skills are also a bit different. As you can see, we're still using Skyrim Redone, but as of this point in my getting back up to speed, we are only... Level 4, about to go level 5. I have two... I have three perk points at this moment in time. We have one in folk. Two of them are in marksmanship, since I am specking out Elia to be a sort of hunter-type character. Well, a ranger, really, if you consider her companionship with Ace. So, so far we have Focus to draw faster and deal more damage. And we can zoom in with Eagle Eye. 
I'm thinking I might go for power draw actually and maybe end, end up being more of an assassin type character uh, and uh, kill people from extreme range rather than close up. I mean, I'll want some skill with a bow when I'm close up, but it's not too important. We have a point in light armor to increase our base armor rating because despite my tent preference towards a bow, it seems to be the case that I very often will get myself into hand-to-hand -hand situations where I am getting slashed by swords or bitten by teeth. And I want to be able to survive more damage. I planned out, I have a sort of vague plan for my next few perks, like I said. I'm going to take one in Armsman and a few more in the long range marksmanship. But we're also going to go down the sneak tree because even though uh, I'm not, uh, because even though I haven't decided for sure if I want Elia to be a thief, uh, I have a few th thieves guild based mods in my load order just in case she does go that route. And being sneaky makes it a lot easier to do more damage and deal with enemies than if they can see you. And we're a big fan of not being seen coming. But that's it for that. And at the moment, we are just a little bit. I'd say we're about maybe a part or two away from where I was in the Let's Play, so... We are at the quest to get the Golden Claw from Bleak Falls Barrow. And I currently have about 900 gold. So, we're in a good place right now. And as I said, Ace is hanging out behind us. But yeah, I have a fairly massive list of mods, but it's a different load order than before since this is a new game. But, I wanted to show everyone this for the moment, just to let you see what kind of load order I will be using during my Let's Play going forward. And to let you, Okay, that made no goddamn sense. I wanted to show you how things are going so you knew where everything stood with my Skyrim Let's Play since... Basically, the last anyone heard of it was me saying I was having an increasing number of scripting and crashing issues that made it very difficult for me to continue that Let's Play. So, it seems that may be at an end, but I don't want to promise anything. So, that'll do it for this update video. I'll let you know... Oh, uh, I will post on Twitter uh, when I am going to be resuming my Skyrim Let's Play. I'm hoping within like a week or two, I'll be able to put it back on the active Let's Plays list. I mean, it won't get a lot of uploads because my primary focus is still Star Wars The Old Republic. But I'll probably prioritize Skyrim over Guild Wars 2 at the very least. But it'll still be neat if Star Wars, um, Kaiser Reich, and Tyranny, because I'm more interested in those. In any case, this will do it for my update video. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, and I will see you next time. Till then, folks. Till then.